Hi there. Here's a short topic video asking the question, what are negative externalities? Well, externalities generally are what we call third party effects, and they arise from both production and consumption of goods and services for which no compensation is paid. Key point is that externalities occur outside of the market. In other words, they affect people who are not directly involved in the production of or the consumption of a good or a service. And that's why they're often called spillover effects. Sometimes the spillover effects are positive. We call those positive externalities with external benefits. But oftentimes the spillover effects are negative. They create spillover costs. In other words, negative externalities create external costs. Here are some examples on the production side. So pollution of the air from factories. Uh, sometimes the pollution created from the intensive use of, of fertilizers in commercial farming. The externalities associated with uh, the creation and the handling and the disposal of industrial waste. The noise pollution, from uh, not just from heavy industry, but from transport, including people living close to uh, airports. You could argue that the industrial uh, farming of, of, of fish in the ocean beds and the, the damage to the marine ecosystem is also an externality from production. And there are some significant externalities, of course, from the farming sector, not just from the pollution, but also from our good friends, the cattle themselves. Methane. Key point there on the slide is that when answering any exam question on negative externalities, remember to think about whether these external costs are really significant. Uh, and if so, can, they, can we measure them accurately? And, and more importantly, can we put a value on some of the externalities? Often things that are most important to us are the intangibles which we can't necessarily measure. Here are some examples of consumption externalities. Now consumption externalities are spillover costs generated in the consumption of a good or service. So for example, the, the, the particles emitted into the air from congested traffic, household waste, a uh, major issue of course, particularly when it comes to the economics of recycling. You might have some very, very noisy neighbours or live with or live close to people who pollute the atmosphere from their smoking. Lots of externalities from traffic congestion themselves, the damage to family life and to social fabric from addiction to gambling and legal highs and other products, the litter, and including the fly tipping that plagues many of our local areas. And who knows, you could talk about the external costs arising from our lifestyles, in particular the external cost to the taxpayer of the rise of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So let's look at some examples of negative externalities. These are things which create external costs to the rest of society.